Well, class, just to recap what we have learned during our last session. Remember, we learned to do the example two, which is to calculate the pressure measurement inside the manometer. So, this is manometer, as you can see. It is quite complicated in nature because it consists of multiple fluid. We have the mercury, we have the oil and water, all right? The first step, what we did previously, we consider the reference line as the starting point. And then step number two, we, what we do for the next part, we arrange the direction. We assign the direction of our measurement from point A to point B. And finally, we employ the hydrostatic equation. Okay, so do you still remember the hydrostatic equation, which is P2 minus P1 equal to negative gamma or rho G bracket Z2 minus Z1. <clears throat> okay. So today lecture, we're going to understand the hydrostatic forces on plane surfaces. So when the fluid at rest, no tangential or shear force exists. The only exist is normal forces. So we have a normal stress, which is the pressure. So as I mentioned before, <clears throat> this is, let's say this is liquid, all right? When it is static, that means only the pressure force exists, which is normal to the face, perpendicular to the face. So this is 90 degree, 90 degree, and so on. All right. This is what we call F, P, the pressure force. Okay. So if surface is present, all forces are normal to the surface. If pressure is uniform, distributed over an area, the first one is the force equal pressure time area. All right. This is important. We know that the pressure is force over area. So from here, force is equal to pressure time the area. Point of application of force is at the area central location. I will explain later on. And the pressure is uniform for submerged horizontal area. In gases, the, the pressure variation in vertical direction is very small. So, for this case, we mostly deal with the liquid because the pressure is generally not uniform as you move in from vertical direction. So, let's consider a vertical plane. You have the plane like this. And then you submerge into the water. This is water. All right. And then what happened? Basically, we have the distribution of forces. Okay. So where is the distribution of forces? This is the distribution of forces. Okay, remember that the force must be perpendicular to the surface. And the pressure force <coughs> must be increasing linearly with the increasing of depth based on our hydrostatic equation. Okay, so from here, we must specify the centroid of the plane area. When you look at from here, using your eyes, what do you see for the plane? Definitely, you will see like this. This is the plane, right? 
Ok, God. Um, God. Width, God length. Alright. So, where is the centroid? Definitely at the center of the plane. So, this center we need to translate here. As the symbol X. Alright. So, here we need to define clearly the the value all right how to measure so we must measure from the surface of the water to the center of the plane so for this case it is height centroid height okay so this centroid height will be used throughout our calculation so what happened to the resultant force since we have the distribution of forces we have this force this force this force what is actually the resultant force the combination of all the forces basically it is in this direction Okay, this is what we call as a the resultant force, the combination of the all forces here and form the FR. All right, so this FR got their own point we call as a center of pressure. As the way okay. the is not in the middle of the pin. Okay. Why it is not in the middle of the plane? Okay. Have you learned static before? Uh, yes. Okay, good. So, I try to recap the static subject. This is the, what we call, yeah? Okay. And then you have the distribution of force. What do you think of the resultant force here? At the center, right? Yes. Okay, good. What happened when I try to change this one? We have the distribution of force like this. Do you think it is still at the center? No, I oh, understand. Okay, good. So yeah. what what do you normally remember the resultant force location? Is it? Uh, it's a what? normal distribution force, basically based on the shape. Yes, good. Normally you learn it is 1 over thirds, right? 1 yes. over 3 is here. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Doctor. So same goes to the, the hydrostatic force, okay? So the force, this is not uh, uniformly distributed. It is increasing li linearly with that. So that is why the resultant force must be act below the centroid, okay? Now you understand yeah? clearly, this is centroid. Okay, clear. Everyone. Yes, okay, good. So this location, okay, this location, okay. Basically, this location we call as so from here to here we call as the H P, the center of pressure. Okay. <clears throat> So, now let's consider the surface at an angle, all right? Let me draw you a surface with an angle. We have the angle here. Okay, let's say we have the angle, okay? This is the surface. You must assume, you must consider the surface submerged in the water, 
Okay, it is not out of water half, not not some part of the surface uh, inside the water. This is fully. Okay, that means this is inside the water. Okay, let's say this is water. All right, this is with angle. Let's say we consider this angle as theta. All right, so what do you think of the forces involved? We have the distribution of force like this. Must be perpendicular and increasing with depth. Okay, logically like this. All right. <clears throat> so where is the resultant force? Resultant force must be like this. We call it as a FR. Where is the centroid? Definitely this is the centroid at the middle. So from here, we can label here as, okay, we can label here nicely from the surface to the centroid is the HC. Always HC because H refer to the vertical. All right. So from here to here, we call as the HP. Okay. Once we consider this is uh, inclined, we need to have the coordination point. All right. So let let have the coordination x and y here. This is <clears throat> let's say this is y direction. Okay, and this is. This is X direction, all right? So let's start from here, the surface of the water. Okay, from here, surface of the water to here is Y. That means Y can be any uh, position, all right? It is a variable, it change with direction okay and then we have the specific y we call it as the y c at the centroid and finally we have y yp at the center of pressure okay so from here let's derive our equation of Pressure. So we know that the force here, force is equal to pressure time the area. Okay. This is our equation. So since we use the method infinitely small area and then we integrate to get the larger area, this is we call the method. Okay, in order to calculate the resultant force. So, the method that we're going to use the in, is the integration method. Okay, we start from small and then we integrate to get the bigger. Okay, to get the bigger area, thus we will get the resultant force. So, so from here, let's consider, okay, the DF, DF, is the change of force we reflect to pressure and the change of area. So change of area will change of the force. Okay. So where pressure equal to gamma h. Alright. And we know that here the H here is referred to Y sine theta. Okay. You can see here from the diagram, in order to get the H, sorry, this is the H. Okay. So I try to draw again. In order to get the H, this is H. And this is angle. And this is y, and this is theta. 
In order to get H, definitely Y sin theta. Okay, clear about this here. And then, okay, and then try to substitute DF, okay, equal to pressure is equal to gamma H, which is Y sin theta DA. After that, you need to integrate both sides. So you integrate become resultant force equal to the constant outside, which is gamma is constant, sine theta constant, the variable inside. So what is the variable, which is y dA? So from here, you can see the integration of y dA is basically the first moment of area. Okay, so when you look at the table, you can see the integration of y dA is basically yc multiplied with the a. Okay, so this is the first moment of area. I believe you learned static, static before, you must learn this. Okay, all right, so. This the first moment of area, the purpose of it to calculate the centroid of the area. All right. So FR is basically equal to, okay, gamma sine theta YC A. Okay, so instead of we are using the y, we don't know the y value, we can use directly yc because we know the exact value. It is constant. It is not move. The y always move. So we can use this equation. All right. Since uh, <coughs> this is uh, yc, okay, again, in order to translate into h, we know that if this is HC and this is YC, so again, it is the same. HC equal to YC sine theta. So I want to replace here with this sine theta. YC is basically HC. So FR basically equal to gamma HC A. All right, so that is the final equation. Okay, so far clear, everyone? Any question? Uh, doctor? Yes? Uh, the yang Y tu sampai mana, eh, doctor? Why, why uh, this one? Yeah, yes, in the diagram. Or yang tu kena based on question. Uh, y is a variable. Consider uh, like it is changing. Y is changing. Okay. Okay. The and only also... the only constant is YC and YP. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay. The reason why we consider Y as a variable because we want to integrate. Integration of a variable will will have the value. What happened the integration of constant? What's the value when when you integrate the constant? Oh, if the constant is zero, then zero, can? Ah, yes. Uh, so we are not consider the constant. That is why we do the y and then we get the y c a a y c. Okay. I think that. Ah, what? Yeah, I think the punya last punya equation. Okay, boleh. Uh, and doctor, uh, yang FR equal to gamma HCA tu is the final equation ke doctor? Uh, uh, dia, dia ada dua equation. Uh, okay, this is basically, this is just consider this is final. Oh, We're going to uh, use this a lot. Oh, kalau macam uh, yang saya tengok doctor video, uh, video doctor sempurna dia cakap yang final is the F equal to PCA. Ah, uh, Sama je. Uh, Sebab sebab nanti you gonna uh, you gonna substitute the value so you can expand lah uh, p equal to gamma h oh so the same thing lah aha sama so basically 
you need to expand. Uh, this gamma H is the pressure C A. Betul tak? Ah uh, yes. Once you need to use the equation, you need to expand again. Become gamma H C A. Uh -huh. Okay, clear. Ah uh, yes, doctor. Ah uh, and also uh, the one in ah uh, yang ada note saya atas tu kan doctor yang cakap pressure is uniform uh, for submerged horizontal area yang terus tulis tu yang mm -hmm. ada banyak banyak. Mm -hmm. So maksudnya uh, dia, apa yang dia cuba nak cakap is that uh, for uh, horizontal part, kalau kata kita lukis plain, mm -hmm. dia nak cakap benda tu uh, dia uniform lah for for every part. Kalau direct, kalau vertical dia akan change lah. Yes, correct. Uh, for kalau yang kalau dia cakap yang the words for in gases tu maksudnya macam mana ya Dr. Okay, the gases tu due to the the gamma is very very small. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kita tahu the force is equal to pressure time area. So pressure is gamma, gamma H A kan? Yes. Okay, so for the liquid, okay, the liquid, it is, the value is very high. So it will affect the pressure, it will affect the F. However, for the gamma of gas, it is very, very small. Okay, so it won't affect uh, the 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 pressure force uh, when the medium is gas. So the pressure variation in the vertical direction is very small. Okay, because of the gamma. Okay, maksudnya kita takkan uh, ambil kira dia lah. Ah, uh, kita so, consider uh, very very small. Okay, so normally so lah, don't point. worry. Normally, you will deal with the liquid lah. Oil, mercury, uh, jangan risau. Don't worry about the gas. Because the gas is, uh, the first the density is very small lah, the, 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 the gas, okay. And then it's quite rare lah to come out in the exam. <laughs> so, normally we deal with the liquid lah. Because the liquid is obvious, dia punya value dia, dia punya force. Okay, Dr. Sifah. Terima kasih. Okay, sama. Okay, good question. Okay, now we proceed uh, to the question. Total force on the plane area found by multiplying the specific weight of the liquid by the product of area and the depth of its centroid. Okay, this is what I explained lah. So, center of pressure. Okay, this is the center of pressure, YP or HP. Can use the prism uh, pressure, pressure prism to find the resultant pressure force. So, this is what I explained. I use the prism. Okay, this is the prism. Find volume of submerged shape, line of action of resultant pressure force pass through the center of volume. To find the coordinate of center of pressure, okay, use this equation, okay. Since the force is a vector quantity, we must know the magnitude and the direction. So once this is, we derive the magnitude. However, how about the direction, the location of the resultant force? So, for example, <clears throat> this is the plane. Okay, this is the plane. I consider the vertical plane. And then this is the resultant force. This is, okay, we have the resultant force. This is F R. So, how to get this value? Any idea? How to get this value? Okay, so first we need to state the centroid. How to get this value? Y, Y, P. So we have the equation to ease your calculation. So the equation that we're going to use basically is Y, C, P equal to negative I, X, X sine theta over with, okay, H, C, Multiply with area. Okay. So the area basically the area of the plane surface. So when we look at here from our eyes, we can see the plane. 
So this is the area. So for example, width multiply with length. Okay, area is width multiply with length. So HC on the other hand is basically this one. This is HC. Okay. IXX is the moment of area. Okay. So basically IXX you can refer from table. Okay. Different uh, moment of geometry. Different geometry or different shape will have different moment. Alright. So just to recap. The moments of area basically is where it resists to bend. Okay. So this is in terms of YCP. For example, this is the the the, the direction like this. This is Y and this is X. Okay. We have another one XCP. Negative I X Y sine theta over H C A. Okay, so how to use, uh, how to choose whether Y or X? It depends on the, the plane uh, direction. As you can see, this plane, once you consider the plane is parallel to the Y, choose this one. Okay, choose this. If the plane is parallel to the X, choose this one. Okay, most of our calculation, we're going to use YCP. Okay. Okay, let me put the remark. With some moment of element, force, Okay, PDA about the centroid and equate equate it to to the moment of resultant sorry to the moments of resultant force basically this uh not refer to how to derive this equation lah. okay first there are two things you need to remember to calculate the resultant force which is gamma hca to find the location of resultant force, basically YCP equal to negative IXX sine theta over HCA. Okay, this theta basically is, okay, okay, let me check. Okay, IXX or IXY, you can refer table. Okay, however, for the theta, it is angle between, uh, this is important, yeah, the plane surface and horizontal. Okay, so that means we have example, this is the plane and this is the surface. Where is the angle? This is the angle. Okay. We, okay. If this is. Uh, okay. So this is angle. It is acute angle. Okay. Less than 90 degree. All right. Let's have a recap. Go to menti.com. Get ready.
menti.com Standby ya. Okay, done. Alright, go to menti.com. Wait, I cannot see the screen. And enter the code Okay, faster everyone. Okay, we wait for a while, your friend. We have 38 now, 39 students join the session. Okay, we have 41. Please, faster. We need your participations. Okay. Please uh, concentrate during answering the question. Okay, make sure you got it right to score high. Uh, this is my tip. Okay, let's proceed to the question. Answer fast to get more points. Barometer measures what? Uh, this is the last class. Bar, bar, what is bar? Pressure. Okay, absolutely right. Absolute pressure of atmosphere. Okay, let's see. We have A A. Okay, the fastest and got correct. We have Yani, Shafi, Hamid, Apex, uh, Legend, Homer, Pejuang. Okay, Lee, what's up? Okay, Aisha, Shuko. This is the top ten, yeah. Congrats. Okay, let's see the next question. Manometer consists of what? Uh. Maybe you got one answer, two answer, three answer. Let's see. Okay, perfect. One more, more fluids and made of glass and plastic. Okay. We have now the fastest. Oh. Okay, Shafiq Zikruma and the faster Payong Bang. Ah, okay, we have Nurit, Skika, Pejuang. Okay, good, good. Next. The first step to solve the manometer question is ha, I always repeat this 
what we need to do first, second and the third. The first is to, to specify the reference line. Secondly, to set the direction and finally to apply the hydrostatic force. Hydrostatic equation. Okay. Okay, Nuris, the fastest and got right. Congratulations, all the top 10. Okay, next question. We have Lucky, what's up? Okay. Get ready. If surface is present, all forces are... Okay, this is, I hope all of you got right. Yeah? This is very important. Must be normal. Yes. Good. Uh, not parallel. Parallel for shear stress. Okay, we are dealing with the static. Hydrostatic. We have Nuris, we have Kit Ka Ying. Okay, good lah Nuris ni. The top one, okay. We have Lucky, the faster. Okay, finally. The final one. Center of pressure is what? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Good. Who is the winner? Is it Nuris? <laughs> wow. Congratulations, Nuris. Ah, berikan tepukan kepada Nuris. All right. Okay, Nuris, please uh, introduce yourself. Where Hello? are you? Hello, yes. Okay. Um, my name is Nuris Hanani, uh, dari section 18. Okay, Nuris, and you? And you are exact. Nuris Hanani. Uh uh, dia har n a n y. H a r n a n y. Yes. Section eighteen. Okay, please tell your strategy to your friend so that your friend also can be your uh, the winner. <laughs> strategy. Um, sebelum ni um ada refer balik notes yang dok terbagi pas tu. Buat tu doktor cakap tadi pun ada fokus sikit, sikit lah yang selalu doktor ulang tu kan. So dapat pick up kat situ lah. Itu je lah strategi dia. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay excellent. Okay the most important thing uh, what Nuri said before. Uh, need to uh, focus, concentrate what I have uh, taught you before. And then basically the quiz is basically what I have uh, taught you before. So just focus on the previous lesson and score well. All right. Okay, I record this in Nuris and will translate to your bonus mark. Okay. Okay, class, next time, okay. We have, okay. Since, uh, let's proceed to the example lah, yeah. Okay, for this part, I want to show you basically what are, what we have learned on measuring the resultant forces and the, the coordinate. So let's apply our theory to the real life application. 
Okay. So please read. A door is 1.2 meter long and 0.8 meter into the pitch. Find the force F on the gate and its center of pressure position X. Neglect atmospheric pressure. Okay. So, the first, I draw first lah, yeah. This is the diagram. Okay, this is a diagram. And this is the door. How to draw the door, yeah? I try to draw the door like this now. Okay, and then this is the diagram. Okay. Zakat ni memang patut dia bagi ke kita kena imagine sendiri ke? Rasa-rasa macam mana? Entah. <laughs> Sebab dia tak ada bagi information. The information is uh, not there pertaining to the dimension. So definitely the question will give you. Okay, don't worry. Alright, this is the diagram. Okay, 6 meter, 8 meter, and this is uh, oil, okay. The specific gravity of oil to be 0.82. Okay, we have the dimension which is 4 meter. And we have from here to here is 1 meter. Mm, okay. And this is 40 degree. Okay. And then uh, we have the dimension of the door. This one 1.2 or 0.8? Uh, 0.2 or 0.8? 0.2. Where is the 0.8? Yeah? Inside. Tak nampak pun. <laughs> Inside. Inside ke dalam. Okay. Just imagine this is 3D, uh, this is 3D lah. Okay. You can go in, into the page. So into the page is 0 0.8. Okay. So the first question, find the force. So what's the force of our equation? Okay. The force is basically gamma HCA. Uh, so you can see. F is not directly, it is, it is uh, okay if you put F equal to PA, but you need to expand further. So I try to simplify lah, yeah. So gamma is gamma of oil. So this is oil. Okay, but the problem here is how to calculate the HC. Okay, the gamma, the A is, is very easy. However, to calculate HC, you need some uh, step by step. So, where is the HC? Uh, the first step you need to ask, where is the HC? The centroid. The centroid of what? The centroid of the plane. Okay, where is our plane? Consider the door lah. Yeah, this is our plane. So, where is the centroid? Okay, the centroid definitely here. Okay, this is centroid. So from the centroid to the surface, what's the value? Okay, from here. Okay. Okay, from here. This is H C. Ah, we need to calculate HC. How to get HC? Yeah? HC is 4 meter. 4 meter. And then this one. Okay, you need to plus with this to this. How to calculate here? Uh, anyone? Please, this is trigonometry only. Not hard. 
how to calculate here? Sine uh, and cos, and sine. For sine okay. 40. Cos or sine? Sine. Okay, sine. Yes. Sine 40. And then, one more? Oh, equal to... Hypotenuse, hypotenuse, please. Hypotenuse, sine 40. Betul tak? This is sine, this is 40 kan? This is 40. The hypotenuse. 4. 1.6. 1, 1. 1.6. Who, who six. said 1.6? Uh, me. Okay, why? Okay, please explain to, to the class. Oh, <laughs> I just guess because the central is at the center of okay. 1.2. So, okay. uh, half of 1.2 is 0 0.6. Okay. And from the central to the end of the 1 meter plus okay. 1 meter. Yes. So, 1.6. Perfect. From here to here is, this is 1 meter. And here is 0 0.6 meter. So definitely 1.6. So 1 plus 0.6 sine theta. You will get 5.028 meter. Okay. So now substitute to the equation F equal to gamma of oil. So how to get gamma of oil? Simply gamma of oil equal to specific gravity of oil multiplied with gamma of water. Okay. So specific gravity of oil given 0 0.82 multiply with the gamma of water. Okay, 9790. Okay, multiply with. I believe you know yeah, how to calculate gamma of water, which is rho multiply with gravity. Okay, so multiply with the HC 5.02H and the area, the area of the door, which is this one. Lah. One point two multiply with point eight. So the final answer is three eight seven four nine point two newton. Okay, that's it. Simple, can? It's quite simple, is it? Plus. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, the next question: What we need to find? Yeah, do that. Yes. Nah, dia nak tanya pasal yang 1.6 tu 1.6 tu hypotenuse ataupun di opposite 1.6 ah. Oh sorry 1.6 uh, hypotenuse Hypotenuse alright Tapi I label, I label here lah Okay Okay it is not hypotenuse lah uh, So you need to find uh, The hypotenuse 1.6 Carilah ni and this is uh, value tadi. Okay. Okay. I hope that once you solve this question, you know lah basically the hypotenuse, the cosine. Alright. So the next question, you need to find the position. Position of X. Okay. Alright. How to get this? Okay. The first step, we need to assign the, the coordination point, okay? The, the coordinate uh, X and Y exist, okay? So let's say this is... This is parallel to be Y and this is X, okay? So this plane parallel to Y. Definitely we're going to use Y CP. Okay. 
Y CP is negative I X X sine theta over H A H C A. So H C we know, A we know, theta we already know, which is from the angle to the horizontal. However, how about X I X X the moment of area? Okay. First, we need we need to make sure we know the area. This is the shape of the area. This is our area, yeah, the door area. Okay, the the height is one point two and point eight. So according to the table, you can refer later on for the moment of area. I x x is referred to. B H Q over 12. This is for rectangular. For the circle, we have will have different I X X. Okay, how to choose where is the H or where is the B? Remember that the H cube is always bigger than B. So where is the bigger? 1.2. So this we will refer as a H and this will refer to the B. So I X X is equal to 0.8 multiply with 1.2 cube over 12. You will get here 0 0.1152 meter the power of 4. Okay. So just substitute in the equation negative 0.1152 sine 40 over with HC is 5 point, this one here, 0 to H multiply with the area 1.2 multiply with 0 0.8. So the answer is negative 0 0.0153 meter. Okay. Since the answer is negative, that means we need to make sure it is below the centroid. So this is centroid. Okay. Below the centroid is negative. So what's the negative one? This value. From here to here is 0 0.0153. Okay, so in order to calculate here, we can see that this is half. Okay, 1.2 divided with 2, which is 0 0.6. Okay, so 0 0.6 is the centroid. We need to plus with this value 0 0.0153. So you will get 0 0.6153 meter. Okay, so there are two options to answer this question. You can simply say it is 0 0.6152 below, below the centroid in y direction. Okay. If you want to uh, calculate uh, from the surface of the water, which is from here, to the to here okay you can calculate using hypotenuse i pythagoras theorem okay so i think uh, that's all okay i not that's all uh, i think this is how you should answer okay all right i want to show you lah okay from the surface from this one to the top, you just need to know uh, this one, okay, the hypotenuse of this from here to here, okay. So this is one meter, 
plus 0 0.6, okay, plus with 0 0.0153, okay, let me draw to you here, okay, so this is one meter, and this is centroid, one point uh, zero points zero point six and this one is uh, zero point uh, sorry zero one five three okay and then you will get the the height here okay and then just plus with four Okay, so 1 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.0153, you will get here is uh, total up, it's 1.6153, okay, so finally uh, the H, you can put lah, the H uh, P, is equal to 4 meter plus 1.6153 sine 40. Okay, sine 40. Plus 4. Okay, 5.04 meter. Okay, that is the final equation, a final answer lah. Any question? Uh, doctor? Yes? Uh, the part yang 0 0.6153 below the centroid in one direction, saya saya tak boleh bayang bentuk dia macam mana. Kat, 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 kat mana? Kat mana dia? Okay. 0 0.0153, kat mana? Location ni kan? Ah, yes, doctor. Kat mana? Okay. This centroid. Okay, nampak this centroid. Below the centroid. Below the centroid. Okay, sampailah until this FR punya point. Okay, this value, dia punya jarak dia from centroid to this one is 0 0.0153. So far, until this part, you understand tak? Oh yes, part saya faham. Okay, so in order to calculate the HP from the surface to here, okay, you just divide lah. This is 4 meter and you need to calculate from here to here. Okay, using the hypotenuse. So 1 meter, 1 meter, plus with this one 0 0.6 plus dengan 0 0.0153 you get the total value you sign kan dengan 40 you will find this this one and then total up lah okay okay doctor faham tapi kenapa ayat dia below centroid in one direction eh tak tak Okay, below the centroid, that means you can see here, the the answer is negative kan? Ah, uh, yes, doctor. Okay, you can see this one term, Y, C, P. C is centroid, P is center of pressure. This is between C to P, nampak tak? Y, C to P. So where is the C? This is C, centroid, to P. Oh, so so the next, uh, so the actually ayat ni just nak cakap benda tu actually turun ke bawah lagi lah because of the uh, negative. Uh, betul, turun uh. ke bawah because of this negative. Okay, doktor. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, lagi satu, doktor. Uh, ni uh, bentuk dia, the figures, uh, ayat cakap door, doktor. Tapi ni pintu apa, doktor? Ni pintu... Saya pun tak tahu pintu apa. Tapi mungkin pintu ke ni kot. Uh, apa tu? 
ni just situation lah pintu ada air kan ada oil so so the figures is given lah ah basically the figure ah. is given lah okey okay. kat sini full of oil lah ada oil mungkin kat sini sebagai uh, the valve lah control water in water out okey doktor terima kasih sama okey ah yes ini masa itu lagi ayat ayat tu atas satu below the central in y position kalau tulis below the central in y position bukan sepatutnya 0.0153 ah ha, betul lah sorry ah uh, betul ah uh, this one below this which one eh? okay okay sorry <laughs> saya pun confused ini ah uh, boleh tapi yang ni 0.6153 ni is basically from the door lah until here. Okay. Tapi the most important thing uh, you need to find the HP lah basically from the surface of the water until the pressure point. The pressure cent center of pressure. Okay. Doktor, nak hmm. tanya, kan negatif tu kan dia merujuk kepada ke bawah kan? Mm -mm. Tapi kenapa yang assume doktor Y tu kira assume dia tu positif ke negatif ke memang tak ada maksudnya simbol positif atau negatif? Faham tak? Okay. Huh. Okay. Um, Kalau uh, better lah, this is might confuse you lah. You you cari dia Y uh, HP. So after you get the HP directly we already know it is from the surface. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, I would like to have the breakout session. Okay. And then uh okay, uh, after this we're going to have the breakout session. Uh, please uh, get ready ya. Yeah. I'm going to assign you to 10 room. Okay. Um, we rest lah for 10 minutes. Okay. Total je uh, yang example 4 ni pun nanti figure dia sama je kan macam yang atas kan. Yang mana? Figure uh, example 4 tu kalau break session. Oh, oh bukan buat kan? Uh, different. <laughs> figure dia different sikit. Uh, okay. Okay. Figure I will, I will draw lah later on. Don't worry. Okay, rest for uh, 10 minutes lah.
class, it's time uh, to start the breakout session. Okay. Are you are you there? Can you hear me, everyone? Just to check. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Okay. Um, I will share you the Jamboard link in the WhatsApp group. And the rule is very simple. Please work with your team. All right. Please do not work alone. Work in a group. I will assign 10 room. After you go to your dedicated room, assign a leader that will help you to navigate the discussion. All right. The duration I give you around 20 minutes. All right. So based on your creativity and idea, please solve it. I want to show your methods as well as your understanding. Upon the completion, I will call a volunteer to explain your answer. Is it clear? Yes, okay, let me share you the jam board. I will set uh, the timekeeper, please alert you. Yeah? The leader need to assign or the leader can be the timekeeper lah, within 20 minutes only. All right, let me share you the link. Group activity. Okay, done. So now I assign you to the breakup session, yeah? Automatically assign, okay? Only 10 room, okay? You need to identify your room and then directly go to the room uh, pitch. I create the room one, two, three. I hope you can see, yeah? Room one, two, three. Okay. The Basically, the purpose of this activity, I want to see your understanding. How you solve this question uh, uh, and your creativity as a team. Okay, now I assign. Please uh, start now. Okay, please uh, click accept to go to your room. Hello? Yes, Shafiq, are you there? Saya dah masuk belum room 6 ni? Ke belum? Belum lagi, sebab awak di luar. Oh, join you room. Ah, oh. join room. Click the join room. Please, everyone. Please faster your your team your team already started the discussion.
Itu itu dah habis masa. Dah habis masa. Eh, time is up. Well, class, can you hear me? Exactly. Okay, so how was the discussion between your between your mates? So, uh, let me share the screen. Okay. So what I can say, room number one mm, incomplete but good uh, free body diagram. Okay, you assign the FR. Okay, as well room number two, number three, good. You use the equation. Okay. Room four, okay. You have the equation here, centroid, room five. Mm, okay, I think this is almost complete. Uh, room six. Okay, room six got one mistake here. Supposedly, this is not the L. This is H. H over two. Um, room seven. Okay, oh, so good. Room eight. Use the equation. Room nine. Oh, where do you get this equation? Who put this equation? Room number nine. Where do you get this information? Room number yeah, nine. Yes. Uh, are uh, you? Yes. Uh, I put the equation. I got it from the YouTube video you sent us last time. The okay. So, yeah. do you understand how to use the equation? Uh, it's like <clears throat> um, from the center point and at the the small distance to the CP. Okay. Okay, basically. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Ah, George, mm -hmm. do you have any idea? <laughs> okay. Basically. This equation by eta over HCA. Okay, uh, you can use uh, it, depends. Okay, for the simplicity. Okay, the YouTube video is just a reference only. Lah. Okay, okay, I think room five. Okay, okay, any volunteer who would like to explain answer? Any volunteer? Okay, uh, Shafiq, please uh, unmute. Shafiq from group what? 
From room number? Uh, number six. Tapi ada yang kena betulkan sikit yang H tu. Terang uh -huh. tu. Okay. Uh. Please Syafiq. Firstly, um, we draw the body diagram to to determine the forces yang ada. So we have okay. P, F, R. Yes. So the weight of the uh, ni. Tapi uh, kita ni glad. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, for summation of FR, kita buat FR minus P equal to zero sebab to keep gate in equilibrium. Hmm, kenapa ya? FR, why FR minus P equal to zero? Sebab dia kata find an expression for the force P to AB that is required to keep gate in equilibrium. So, zero. Lebih. Is it? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Supposedly when you refer this, you hmm. got, you should consider the X and Y is this. Uh, yep. Okay, proceed. So, kita buat P ke to FR. Mm -hmm. So, FR we use the formula yang gamma HCA. Mm -hmm. So, uh, gamma is gamma of water time by HC. HC we obtain from the uh, ni, L ni should be H. Uh, this is this is H. Remember, we are referring from vertical direction. Hmm. So H over 2 multiply with sin theta. Okay, correct. And LB. Yes. Okay, good. Then? Then kita this. just masukkan dalam ni. Oh, this is so H. this one is kena correct. Yeah. H, okay. LB. Okay. And then this is okay. And this is wrong lah, basically. Uh -huh. I will, I will guide you later on. Okay. Ah, uh, room 5. I think okay. Volunteer, room 5. Please, volunteer, room 5. I think the first part is okay. Any, any volunteer, room 5. Please unmute and speak. Room 5. It's okay whether it is right or wrong. We need to see your step-by-step -step approach. Okay. We want to learn, not we want to get right. Okay, please, room 5. Pastor. Good morning, doctor. Okay, good morning. Uh, actually, we just... Uh, Substitute the data that given from the diagram uh, to the mm -hmm. formula F equal to gamma H, H C height of center and A. a. Mm. Then? Uh, wait. Uh. And it's okay. We, Just explain here. And we get the data H over 2 is the height of center. Mm -hmm. And the area is uh, B, B times L. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. Then? Okay, this one is correct lah. There is no sign or cos. Okay. And then next, YCP. IXX sine theta, this equation. Okay, and then substitute. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, actually, okay. we just start, start the, uh, the data that given in the uh, diagram. Okay, this is good. Okay, okay. most of you, you okay. Thank you, Anto Zuan. All right, for the volunteer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. What you got right now, majority of you know how to get the F, how to get the YCP, but most of you not accurately get the P. Okay, since uh, P is difficult, let me guide you, All right? Let's see. Okay, please focus here. You can see here, the gate AB has length L with B is hinged at B, has a negligible weight, all right? The liquid level H stay on the top of the gate at any angle theta. Find the expression of force P perpendicular to AB. 
that is required to keep the gain in equilibrium. The first part, we need to have the free body diagram. Okay. So from here, where is the force? We have the P in this direction and we have the resultant force. Remember in this direction. Okay, let's say this is the resultant force. FR. So, in order to make sure the P is in equilibrium, we must use the moment, moment at hinge B. Okay, the summation of moment at hinge B equal to zero because we need to make sure it is equilibrium. Okay, we must use the moment at B equal to zero. However, in order to calculate the moment, which is force multiplied with radius, we must definitely know the FR first. That is why we calculate the FR first. So in order to calculate the resultant force, we use the F equal to gamma HCA. And then we know that the gamma of water not given in terms of parameter and HC. HC is half from this one. So this is HC. So HC is H over 2. Multiply with the area of this gate which is LB. And then you will get HLB gamma over 2. Simple. So after you know the force, resultant force, you must know the, the length, all right, from B to here. So definitely you must know the, the position of FR. That is why you, you need to use YCP equal to negative IXX sine theta over HCA. Okay. Since this is the gate, all right, we know, we are sure that the I, X, X for the gate is B, okay, which is uh, from here, uh, B is B, L cube over 12, okay, this is explained before, yeah, the longest one should be L. So, substitute into the equation. Negative BL cube, okay, over 12. Sine theta, theta is here, over with HC. HC is H over 2, multiply with the area, which is LB. Okay, so from here, you simplify, you will get negative 1 over 6. L squared sine theta over H. So, YCP we already know for this value. Okay. So, from here, I draw again to make it clear and understand this is the gate. And this is at point B, the hinge. We must know the moment. The moment at point B. So, we have the force. Pressure, and we have the resultant force, FR. So, this is the centroid. Okay, from the centroid to here is this value. Okay, so let's start our equation. Summation of moment. Counterclockwise positive at point B equal to zero. So we start with P first because P is positive. You can see our direction of hand from point B to P. Okay, go here and then follow the direction of force P. So where is our thumbs? Thumb facing upward, uh, facing to me or facing downwards? Upward or downward? The thumbs. This is basic static here. Yeah? 
Upward. Upward. Upward is positive or negative? Positive. Positive. So positive. P. Where's the distance? The distance from here is? L. P. L. Okay. However, for the F. R. Which is from here and then this direction. Our thumbs into the page. Which is negative. Negative F R multiply with this distance. What is the distance for this? Anyone? Very simple. We already know the answer. What's the what's the distance? Y C P plus dengan H C. Eh. Okay. Okay. okay, this one berapa? This one is from here to here is L over L two. over 2. How to get this X ni? L over 2 minus minus YCP. Yes, perfect. L over 2 minus this one. The one that we don't want. Okay, which is YCP ni. And then it is minus 1 over uh, 6. Let's see, 1 over 6. L squared sine theta. Okay, over H. Right, equal to 0. Okay, so from here you simplify lah. Okay, do the simplification, factorization. You will get uh, this one, you move to the right. PL equal to. Uh, H L B, sorry H L. Okay, yeah. Um, mm, okay, this one I think I left here. Okay, H L. Let's see. Mm. Let me check. Okay. So F. So F R. L over 2. Um, minus with. Uh, this one. Uh, 1 over 6 H. Uh, L squared sine theta. Okay. So find the expression of force P. Okay. So from here you can uh, cancel L. Lah. L, cancel L, cancel L. So finally the answer is P equal to FR half minus L over 6H sine theta. Okay. You can uh, do simplification further lah. For me, I just leave, uh, leave it until here lah. Alright. Just to answer the question in the minimum requirement. Find the expression of force P. Okay, so this is the expression. Okay. So if you are good, you can replace as well this F in terms of this. Okay. Uh, so you can uh, do more lah. P equal to FR is H L B gamma over 2. Uh, you do lah all this thing. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, any question? Doctor? Yes? Uh, dalam FR ada L juga kan? So kira potong juga lah kan? Mana? Uh, FR ada L. <coughs> ah, betul. Yes. Good, okay. good. Masih baik awak nampak. 
Cancel. Ha. So tinggal H B gamma. Okay. Thank you, Ad Adriana. Okay. Anything else? So once you try to look at here, you understand. Eh? Basically, the principle need to calculate the F, need to calculate the YCP, and apply the moment lah. If this is the static. Okay. I give you uh, homework lah. Eh? The homework. Uh, example eight, example five. Please, this is the same thing. Very easy. I will send you. I will update later on uh, the figure. This is using the imperial unit, the English unit. Okay, I want to see whether you you still remember how to convert, right? Using the feet, using the inch, all right? Okay, I think that's all. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I end my session with Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Can you uh, reshare the attendance? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, well, welcome. Uh, doctor. Yes? Uh, for our homework, we have to do example 5, right? Yes. Uh, do we need to submit it? Uh, no need. We will discuss. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Okay, I, I really hope if you want to improve yourself, lah, please do. If you, uh, this is based on your initiative, okay? My encouragement, please do. Homework. Doctor, thank okay, you. Okay, okay.